So you're trying to figure out how you can turn on lights in your house the moment you enter in your house without actually doing anything? In this video, I'm going to show you four products as well as the automations that go with those products uh, to help you accomplish that goal of turning on lights as you enter the house without doing anything at all. In order to accomplish this, you'll need to have at least a smart light bulb, a smart light switch, or lights connected to a smart plug. You'll also need one of the following four products, an Apple Home setup with an Apple TV or iPad, an Elgato Eve Motion or iHome home sensor, an Elgato door or window sensor, or a D-Link Omna. Each one of the products listed above will act as a trigger for the automated lights and each has its own strengths and weaknesses which I'll cover. I personally prefer the plain Apple Home setup with a TV or iPad, but you might have a circumstance in your home where others might be better. As I said earlier, the outcome of these automations will be a smart light or a smart light switch or a, a lamp connected to a smart plug being turned on. Now, if you need more information on those types of smart home gadgets, uh, do check out my website as well as the uh, videos. The links will be probably in the uh, card somewhere popping up right about now. Let's start with the D-Link Omna setup. This is probably the the most expensive solution of the four, but it's probably one of the more accurate ones. Why? Because you can pick and choose what parts of the video to detect motion in. All you have to do is set the right quadrant and create an Apple Home automation that triggers when the sensor detects something. Now, my issue with the setup is that there are chances where there might be a false trigger. Uh, which might get annoying over time. The Omna will trigger on sunlight changes in a room, but this issue can be overcome by ensuring that the automation you create is only active after sunset. The only other issue I have using the D-Link Omna as a motion sensor is that you have to plug it in so it's not as portable. You can't really tuck it away like you would with the Elgato Eve Motion, which we'll talk about next. The Elgato Eve Motion is just a motion sensor, which is kind of expensive for just a motion sensor when compared to you know everything else that I've bought. Uh, the Elgato Eve Motion is water resistant, weather resistant relatively, so you can mount it outside. You basically create the same automation as a D-Link Omna. You select the trigger automation and make sure you select it after the sunset option because you don't want your lights to turn on during the day. I'll be honest with you, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to use these motion sensors. Uh, why? Because, well, especially for the Eve Motion, it has such a wide field of view, so it's always firing on something. I would only use this in a location where I needed to know if anything was going on in a low traffic area. Even then, I could see the Eve Motion triggering on a leaf or a branch during a windstorm or during a rainstorm or thunderstorm, which kind of makes this automation um, tough to use, I'll say. I could totally find myself turning off the automation outright um, after having it misfire a bunch of times during a thunderstorm at night. Like, could you imagine like your bedroom lights going on and off every single time this thing detected a leaf blowing across it? Ugh. Um, if you need help with uh, your automations or you need an intro to the odd different types of automations, I've got a full video outlining the differences between each one and what each one does, so do check that video out as well. Next up is using the Elgato door and window sensor. Unlike the previous two products that we were talking about, the sensor is very finite in the sense that it's either open or it's closed. So, you know, a leaf isn't going to trigger the motion sensor, isn't going to trigger the door and window. Somebody actually has to physically open it or close the door or window or whatever you've placed the sensor on. The downside is, unlike motion sensors, you can't monitor a wide area. I personally would use this on my front or back door as well as the door leading out of my garage so that anytime I open the door when it's dark out, the lights are going to come on. I will note that with these Elgato Eve sensors, everything runs through Bluetooth, so everything is a little slower. So this might not be the best option for a front door setup. It might work a little better if it's a garage door because you'll have, you know, three, four seconds between the garage door and your back door for the uh, sensor to trigger. The automation used for this setup is different than the previous two as you're going to use an accessory as controlled automation. The best way to have your lights turn on automatically in your house is using a full-blown Apple Home setup using an Apple TV or iPad. I'm assuming that you're using an iPad or a TV because well that's the only one that allows you to remotely access uh, the devices as well as use the GPS. This method is going to be the cheapest out of the four that I'm going to be talking about, assuming that you've already bought into Apple Home. And it's also going to be the most accurate. Basically, the moment Apple Home detects your iPhone is within the geofence that you set, well, the lights are going to come on. The solution is the best as you won't be encountering any false readings like you would with the Omna. A cat running across your lawn isn't going to set it off like the Eve motion. And you can set this for any sort of entrance to your house, unlike the Eve door and window. 
The GPS feature of HomeKit is something that Home, Apple Home does quite well. I'm quite impressed with the feature and have a hard time finding a similar feature that works consistently in other platforms like Amazon Alexa and Google Home. And that's why I prefer the Apple TV route for my entire house. Now, if you've got a really big house, I do not, and then using a motion sensor for a very specific part or using a door and window or using the D-Link Omna might work better for you. Now, I can't say for sure where it would work best because, well, houses come in different shapes and sizes and you, everybody lives slightly differently. Uh, so I'm really hoping that this video kind of opens your eyes to what can be done with all these automations as well as these motion detecting types of uh, Apple Home gadgets. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down there. I'll probably get to them at some point in time and answer them or, you know, give you a thumbs up for whatever you're about to say. This is Monty. He helps me review all these things. And yes, he's the one who oftentimes sets the, uh, triggers the motion on this one because he likes to run around a lot, don't you, buddy? You hate sitting, but you like running. Thanks for watching.